Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 4.1, number 33. And here we were found, or asked to find a linear equation. We were given two points. And so the first thing you want to do is find the slope between the two points. And that's what you see me working through here, right? So I'm doing the change in y over change in x. And I arrive at my slope of negative 1 third. And then when you're, you're there, once you have your slope, and in this case we have two points, we only really need one of them, but I have my slope and my points. So then I want to put that information into the point slope formula because we have three formulas of a line, and here is the point slope formula. Now, it says point slope, so I only actually need one point, and you can pick negative 1, 4, or 5, 2. It, it doesn't matter which one you pick. You're going to see me opting to pick 5, 2 only because it has positive x coordinate or positive coordinates. It's not that I couldn't have picked negative 1, 4, and I would have still gotten to the same answer. I just opted for 5, 2. So let me go with some color coding here. So you see my slope is negative 1 third, and I plugged it into the point slope, slope formula for m. All right, and then you see that my y coordinate is 2 here, and you see me plugging that in. Right? You also can see that my x coordinate is 5, and I'm plugging that into the formula. And then I go ahead and I distribute, and I solve for y, and I come up with this linear equation. Keeping in mind that we've, we've made it through function notation, so instead of y, I'm going to write f of x in there. Oh, actually, I didn't even write f of x. Well, I, I could have written f of x, and that could have also been a solution, but I'll take either one. All right, thanks so much. Bye.